Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's O'Hapel, and this is going to be the start of the Blood Splatter episode of my Halloween Mask series. So if you are new to the series, the Halloween costume series, we are making this here mask, this Bioshock Splicer mask, sorry, um, and we want some blood splatter on it. So I'm going to teach you guys how to mix that up, how to splatter it on there so it looks somewhat realistic, how to mix the paint, what paint to buy, all that. So stick around, and I hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, so we're going to start out with these three paints. You'll notice these are acrylic, gloss paints. You can get them really cheaply at Walmart or any craft store. They'll be somewhere between 50 cents and two dollars probably. Um, you will need these three colors. I know you'll, you're sitting here thinking, well why blue and brown? Well if you look at blood in an actual movie or anything like that, it doesn't look real red. It is a dark color. It started to coagulate a little bit. You know, sometimes it has little tones of blue and brown in it. It's got to be really dark. We might even add a little bit of black into this. So consider picking up black if you're trying to make one trip to the store. And I'm going to show you guys kind of how to mix them together and get the right colors. Okay, so for the sake of you guys being able to see, I have taped my bowl on its side. And we're just going to start dumping in some paint. A lot more than we did last time. Mostly focusing on red and brown with a little bit of blue. We don't want it to get too purpley. I think the last batch got a little bit too purpley. All right, we got these colors all in here. We're gonna take our paintbrush, stir it up, see what we get. I think that we need maybe a little bit more red. I'm not sure. You wanna make sure to mix this really well. You don't wanna have blue streaks in it or brown streaks in it. Um, that will look ridiculous on your project. So this is still looking maybe a little bit too bright. Keep mixing in. We're not going to need a whole lot for these mask projects. So that's not a problem. Sorry, let me... Okay. So we'll get a little bit more blue. And a little bit more brown. Kind of thinking this is still maybe a little bit too red. You guys can see it here. A little bit more brown. And a tad bit more blue. Now wherever you go, some people will tell you to use different colors. This is red, brown, and blue is not the end all be all. But I have found some decent results with it. So here we go. We have a little bit of... Blood. Ooh, gross. Um, now what we're going to be doing is mixing in, let me tear this off the ground, we're going to be mixing in a little bit of water to get the thickness right. So you'll see here that we've added in a little bit of water and also a little bit of black. I'm going to mix this up real quick and show you what that looks like. All right, so I'm a little bit happier with that. I'm not sure that the real color is coming out. It looks a little bit more red on my screen than it does in real life. But you can see this is kind of a blood color. The black is needed, it turns out, so get black blue, red, and brown. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the actual splatter effect. All right, so that's how it looks after it's been splatter painted. We are going to touch up a couple parts with some red paint and some white paint. I didn't like exactly how much I got on the eyebrow. I'm going to take a little bit of it off right in here. Um, and some of the red paint ended up getting a little bit thin in places. But overall, I really like the effect. Remember, with blood splatter, less is usually more. Um, the more you do, even though you think it might look really brutal, it just kind of cheapens the effect. And now I guess it's time to go clean up my bathtub.